Welcome back! Today I'm going to show you how to use the DJI Mini 4 Pro outdoors. If this is your first time flying a drone, be sure to choose a location that is wide and open where you will not endanger anyone. So you take your drone with you in the fly more kit. You open the back. You want to turn the remote controller on and insert the sticks. Afterwards you want to take the drone, insert the battery, remove the prop protector, remove the gimbal protector, then you can unfold the arms, And turn the drone on. You have to choose a flat ground to get it started. Everything here is covered in grass so I can either hand launch it or start it from an improvised flat ground. So the drone is already connecting um, to the remote controller and it is now searching for GPS. So it will take a moment until um, it found GPS, then unfold the antennas Home point updated. The home point has already been updated. Now I can start my drone. To do that, I want to turn the sticks inwards down. And first time it asks me to check the propeller installation. It's all good. So we'll click do not show again. And then I can start the drone by pulling the sticks inwards and down. Take off. Now it's starting, first flight with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And I can already see that it detects obstacles on the left and in front. So it detects them in all directions, which is really cool. So first flight, you want to make sure that you, that you are able to use the drone correctly. So pushing up, pushing up means the drone goes up, pushing left means the drone rotates to the left, pushing right means the drone ro rotates to the right, pushing the right stick forward means the drone flies forwards, pushing the right stick backwards means the drone flies backwards. Pushing the right stick to the left means the drone flies to the left. And pushing the right stick to the right means the drone flies to the right. So I also want to check how the obstacle avoidance works now. I will bring the drone a little bit closer and face them towards me. And I will now push the stick slowly but surely towards me. And I have it set to bypass the obstacle, so it should fly not into me, but it should avoid me. Okay, that already works. I now do it backwards. That also works. And I will now test the side obstacle avoidance. Also works great. Okay, and the other side. It also seems to work. That's so cool. So I can go. I can really try to fly into me, <laughs> but it just doesn't let me. Let me try to fly into the camera. Let's see if it allows it. No, it just goes upwards. I will try it again. Okay. No. 
It automatically avoids the camera and it also gives the warning signs on the display and um, as audio as well. Okay, this is great. So obstacle avoidance works in all directions now. So let me go to the camera recording. I'll record now with the drone. And I will test how high it can go because we are in Europe and it has a C0 mark so possibly it will only go to 120 meters off the ground. Let's test that out. It's already inaudible right now. Max altitude reached. Damn. So they really implemented the hard limit of 120 meters with this drone. You cannot go any higher than 120 meters off your starting point. Which is really sad. Let's see if we can change that. Max altitude, no, it's, it's really set in stone to not go any farther than 120 meters in height. Okay, that's a pity, but I will test the, the range either way. So we'll just push the stick forwards and let's see how long we can go on. All right, the remote controller signal already gets a little bit weaker. Let's see if it catches up or if it stays like that. After 600 meters, the remote controller signal is weak. You can try to adjust the antennas. Doesn't work. Okay, 600 meters. And auto return to home. I will confirm that and it should now fly straight back to me. Okay, the view is a bit obstructed by trees, Return to home. but either way only Max 560 meters, only 560 meters is not a lot. My DJI Mini 3 Pro came way further. But this, this new animation, this looks cool. It shows the path that it calculated to fly back to me. And yeah, it's really nice. I can still control the camera angle up and down, but I cannot adjust any other thing when it's coming back. But the animation is pretty, pretty nice and it also displays the home point where it tends to, to stop. Let's try to angle down the camera a bit so that you can see the home point. And I started right off the case of the Leia Mini 4 Pro. Let's see if it would get to this spot back as well or if it misses. Okay, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Let's see if it actually hits the right spot. Oh, it stops. Area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Okay, now I need to control it manually. But you get the point. It was pretty accurate in coming back after the signal loss. But losing the signal so quickly is a bit sad.